when they went to Lake George, I, it was, it was very serious. Yeah. I actually thought that I would probably get cut when they went to Lake George without me. And I was prepared for that. Today, we are joined by the lovely Jackie Goldschneider from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Thank you so much. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing great. No complaints. Well, that's always good to hear. And, you know, we're here today because, you know, we see you on TV and I will, I personally, I always note like you're gorgeous, you're glowing, you know, and um. I'm glad that we get the chance to talk today about your skincare routine because I need the tips because... <laughs> You know, so let's go right into it. So tell us about the importance of, you know, having a good skincare routine. Okay. So, um, you know, everything that's going on in your life, at least in, in my life, it shows on my face. So when I get stressed or I get too busy, I get, you know, redness. I get in the winter, I get dryness. I get, you know, it just, if I'm irritated, it shows up as irritation on my face. So I've always been very into skincare and trying new things. And for the past um, maybe five, six weeks, I've been using a line called Neolastin. And it has been such a game changer for me because their skincare, it not only absorbs so well into your skin, which is necessary if you're really going to hydrate and moisturize, but it also, it has this new technology called Nuflex, which builds back elastin fiber so that your skin can actually bounce back. So it's not just moisturizing it. It's really helping from within to build back what you lose in your teenage years. So um, I feel like my skin has never looked clearer and healthier. And, you know, I, I feel like my face looks tighter and younger obviously nothing can turn the clock back this is this is pretty close <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah and can you tell us a little about the products that you're using that you're incorporating into your routine yeah so like the best thing about their line is that you can use it with the products you already love you don't have to get rid of what you're using and start using everything from them so i use um in particular three of their products so i start with their serum which I've never used a serum before, but it really is amazing because it it builds a base for your um, high, your moisturizer to really absorb so much better. So I start with their serum and then I use the um, hydrating moisturizer and then I use their eye cream. Okay, definitely. And you know, you said that you were using this for a little over a month now, right? So yes, when you're already seeing those changes, that's amazing. Oh I yeah, like for sure. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times too with skincare, like it takes a while to like see these results. So it's nice to hear that something is actually like when you want it, it's going to be working. Yeah, I mean, I definitely am getting what I want out of skincare from this line. A lot of times in the past, I've used skincare that, you know, it looks great when it goes on. And then a few hours later, you feel dry or your face looks dry. But I haven't had that with Neolastin. It's been really great. And I feel like, I mean, the word that comes to mind is supple. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And I mean, you are glowing today, so I definitely oh. see it. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, too, I was wondering because, you know, you've been on TV for a few years right now. And I feel like, you know, being in front of the camera and being on TV, that must have like had an impact on your skincare routine and making sure that you're like camera ready and stuff. So I was just yeah. wondering, you know, what, how has being on TV changed things for you in terms of skincare? Um, I think that, you know, I got more serious about it. It used to just be so that I wasn't dry, but really anything on your face really shows that much more on camera and the audience catches everything. So I have tried to really target, um, my problem areas, target my redness. I do get a lot of redness here, which Neolastin has been really great for. Um, I just, you know, like it, you get a little more, um, specific and careful with your skincare. So, um, you know, TV is, it's rough hearing everyone on social media weigh in some things you can't fix. I mean, something I hear over and over again is people comment on the way that my lips move. I think it's beautiful to be different. I, my lips sometimes don't stay perfectly symmetrical and I have come to terms with it, but you know, it's hard to hear criticisms of yourself, but the things that you can do like better skincare, 
I have done things I can't do, like changing the way my lips move. I don't do. So, you know, a lot of it is just coming to terms with who you are and being comfortable with that. But some of it is being proactive about things that you can get better with. Mm -hmm. And I do like to hear that, but I hate hearing that you're receiving hate of any kind. I just, it's okay. I mean, it's part of it. You know, it's not all, you know, you, nothing is for free, right? So you want, you know, you, you get the fame and you get a lot of wonderful things from it, but there are some not so wonderful things from it, but it makes you grow stronger as a person. You realize how to, how to deal with it. And look, I learned how to teach my kids to deal with it because everyone's on social media now. So. Yeah. And so how are you, how do you cope with that really? Like just in terms of your daily life, do you like kind of just avoid social media sometimes or just. No, um, I can't avoid social media. I mean, I'm not on it all day. Mm-hmm. I do have a lot of other stuff going on, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm human. And even as strong as I sometimes think I am, I, it upsets me sometimes, of course, to see terrible things about yourself. But luckily, I don't get that much hate. But when I do, I have to realize it's coming from people who are sitting behind computer screens that probably, you know, that could probably, probably don't look as nice as I do. You know, I realize that. Um, I also know that if someone doesn't know me, that they're not deserving of any of my time or emotion. So I try to realize the source, but, um, you know, it's still hard sometimes. Yeah. And I imagine it's even like harder when the seasons are airing. So we're in like a little bit of a, a transition period before the next season. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, there's all, already a bunch of talk about next season. So I did want to like pick your brain there a little bit, of course. Yeah, for sure. Let's go for it. So do you know when it's the next season is going to air? I don't, they don't. So the production side, they don't tell us anything, okay. um, but I've heard rumblings of February. I don't know if that's true or not, but that seems to be the consensus for right now. Okay. So something to look forward to next year. And, you know, I know you can't tell too much about what's going on in the next season, but what can you share about your personal storyline for the next season? Oh, my personal storyline is actually really, really deep and intense. And I haven't even spoken about it yet. Um, None of my castmates except for one knew my personal storyline, but it's a really big story. I think that people will be um, surprised and I think it's going to get, it's, it's going to be big. It's big for me. It was a really big thing. It took a lot for me to put it out there. And once I did, I was really happy to handle it on camera. Okay. So can you tell us about, you know, who that person was that maybe you shared that maybe experience with or that storyline with, or, um, I think you could probably guess it's my closest friend in real life and on the show. So I don't want to give away too much. It's Margaret, Margaret, you know, I share, you know, for, I'm very fortunate to have Melissa and Margaret on the show with me. Um, but Margaret and I are just so close um, on and off camera. And I, I felt like I did need one person to confide in. And for me, she's always the first person. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that you guys, your bond is so strong and we can see that on TV. So I love watching. Mm-hmm. And, you know, of course, I got to ask about, you know, Teresa last mm-hmm. season we ended on. You guys did kind of have like a reconciliation of sorts. And I know you guys mentioned you were going to go on like a golfing double date. So I was wondering, did that double date ever happen? I want to know how it um, was. I think if you look at social media, you can see that we did play tennis. I Mm -hmm. won't mention if it was on camera or not. Um, I'll say that Teresa and I um, are on a little journey figuring out our friendship. So um, it's interesting to watch the evolution of that. I was so proud of Evan after the reunion, the way that he was so forgiving and, and, when he hugged her, I just looked at him and I was like, you are a man. Like that is a man. And because he was able to forgive her, it it gave me the, it enabled me to form a friendship to go forward and see if we could have a friendship because without that, I wouldn't be able to, if my husband didn't forgive her, but um, yeah, you'll see. It's, it's, it's interesting to watch. Okay. And 
you know, how are you and Evan doing today? You guys did go through a lot last season. So I just want to know, you know, what's the status of you guys today? Yeah, we're better than ever. I mean, he is just the best. And I told him last year, you know, I didn't think that something like that would ever happen where somebody came for you. I always thought, you know, if, if they come for it, it's going to be me. It's, it's me who's on the show. And when they came for him, I really said to him, I mean, I love you more than I love this. You know, mm-hmm. I love this, but I love you more. And if you wanted me to leave, I will. And, you know, we, we discussed it and we decided that no, like we, we're not going to let that stands in our way. And, and so we, we got through it and, you know, he now, you know, he wants to make me happy. He loves being a part of it, but at the end of the day, it's, he always says like, if we walk away, it's cause you don't want to be a part of it anymore. And that's definitely not something that I'm thinking about right now. So I, I love, I love being on the show. I'm glad that we stayed, um, but we are better than ever, but he knows at the end of the day that if he, that if anything ever hurt him and he wanted to leave that I, I obviously love him more than anything. Mm -hmm. How close were you to potentially leaving the show or like, was it how serious of a consideration was it? When they went to Lake George, I, it was, it was very serious. Yeah. I actually thought that I would probably get cut when they went to Lake George without me. And I was prepared for that. Mm -hmm. So um, I was very grateful that that didn't end up being the case. Um, I think I would have regretted it, but I knew under no conditions was I going on that trip um, when Teresa was in that state. So um, I was very serious about it because I just, you know, I never signed up for something to really hurt my family. And to me, it wasn't worth it. But Mm -hmm. the fact that we made it through and that reunion ended the way it did. And then this season was just so I can't wait for everyone to see it. It's so good. And I love being a part of it. And I love my storyline this season so much. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see it. I wish I could talk about it more, but um, I'm so grateful to still be a part of it. I love being a housewife. I hope to be a housewife for a lot longer. Yeah, I I love you too. Like, it's so funny too. I actually went to um, BravoCon when they had it a couple years ago and I got to meet you. And like, it was right after after you guys had that like Jersey panel. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, and the girl, do you remember that girl? Yes, I remember that girl and I hated that moment for you. And I just was like, you handled it so well. So thanks. (laughs) So I am rooting for you too. Like, so I'm glad that you stuck around. (laughs) Thanks. I wish I remembered meeting you. You know, BravoCon, I was so new. Mm -hmm. I mean, not so new. I had been on two years, but, um, you know, I still felt like a newbie. You know, Jennifer and I felt like newbies for a long time because there was no new housewives on Jersey. So we were still the new girls. I mean, everyone else had been on for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys do have like kind of like those alliances, maybe like on the show too. like you guys were the new people. And then like you guys kind of diverged into like the two like sides that we have going on still. I don't know. Yeah. You know, this this year, though, it's interesting. There's a lot of shifting relationships. So. Mm Yeah, it's a really great season, I have to say. I'm, I'm looking back on it. There's so much that happened. Mm-hmm. Anything you can like, I know you can't share too much, but like anything you can tease in a word or a phrase to leave us off here. Um, I mean, it's been said already, but I will just say that there is a, a moment that rivals or exceeds that table flip, which I wasn't here for, obviously, but it was a moment. I mean, my jaw was on the floor. Um, Did it there's a few me? moments, there's a few moments where you're like, what? Yeah, there's a few of those, but it's, it's a great season. I wish I could tell you more. I don't want to ruin anything. <laughs> were you the one involved in that moment or was it like, um, not, moment? not the moment that I was initially talking about, but I, I'm, I'm involved in a few moments. <laughs> okay. So we got a lot to look forward to there. If it rivals the yes. flipping, it's going to be a good season. So <laughs> it's great. It's awesome. So thank you so much, Jackie, for taking the time to chat with me today for popculture.com. I love getting to chat with about housewives, skincare, everything. So this was a me blast. too. This was great. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And for more on the Real Housewives, for more on Jackie, stay tuned to popculture.com.